Uh, we'll now move on to the Honourable Member for Edmonton Riverbend. Here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll be splitting my time with a member from Surus Moose Mountain. In January, January, Mr. Speaker, we began asking questions about the government's handling of the National Emergency Strategic Stockpile. As we all know in this House, this government was slow. They were slow to develop any plan, including one to ensure that Canadians have immediate access to treatments and vaccines when one is developed. In fact, Health Canada is currently struggling to lock down a supply of the only Health Canada-approved treatment. Why? Because like this government's approach to borders, like their approach to PPE, and like their approach to getting support to Canadians, they simply had no plan. So I'll ask the Minister today, what is the government's plan to ensure that Canadians will have access to the first scientifically proven treatment or vaccine? The Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I'm pleased to uh, talk about our response to ensuring that Canadians have access to therapeutics and vaccines and, in fact, treatments as they arise. Uh, I am very proud of the hard-working civil service that is working closely with members of the Vaccine Task Force, the Immunity Task Force, and the many other experts that are advising us as a country on how best to position ourselves to ensure that we do have access to these therapeutics. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as uh, as you will know, uh, this is a, a space that is rapidly evolving and Canada is engaged with international partners to ensure that we are at the cutting edge of understanding new treatments and vaccines as they become available. For one more short question, the Honourable